What's up, good people of YouTube? It's me, Chavez, back with another NBA player prop video for you today, Saturday, November 18th, 2023. As always, I hope this content finds you doing well and in good spirits. We're gonna kick things off and recap our plays from yesterday, go over some injury news, and then we'll talk about two new plays that I like for Saturday's games. So if all that sounds good, stick around, drop a like, sub up, and click the notification icon so that you're notified of all upcoming content and videos from me and my channel. And without further delay, let us get into our two plays from yesterday. Kicking things off with a prop that I wanna kick out the damn window, Kyle Kuzma, 21 and a half points. We took the over on this one. He goes under, finishes the game with 19 points. Looked like it was gonna hit for a good portion of the game, but he just didn't get the full run in the second half and it really hurt him as well as some easy, some easy looks that he missed yesterday, so. He uh, finishes with 19, the Wiz lose, and uh, I believe they're the first team to be eliminated from the play-in tournament. Just, uh, you know, one of those lines where I did feel really good about going into the day and then felt better about it throughout the day when I saw it get bumped up to 22 and a half. So it seems like a lot of people were also taking the over on his points, but again, unfortunately, just wasn't able to get it done for us. Someone who did get it done for us, Eric Gordon. We took the over. Aaron Gordon, not Eric Gordon. A lot of Gordons in the NBA. Aaron Gordon took the over six and a half rebounds. Got bumped to seven. Didn't matter because he finishes the game with eight rebounds. He did us right. And that brings us to one and one with our two plays. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go 2-0 and and go into the weekend 6-0, and which was the goal, but we do go into the weekend sitting at 5-1, and 5-1 over the last three days, looking to make it 7-1 and after today's plays. Before we get into those, let's make sure we are up to speed on injury news going on in the NBA. Injury news is as follows. Steph Curry, Derrick Rose, Kaysen Wallace, all questionable. Luke Kennard, Marcus Smart, Tillman, Draymond Green, and GP the second, GP2, Baby Glove, the mitten, <laughs> out for uh, the Warriors. So a lot of Wiz, or excuse me, a lot of Grizz and Warriors on that list. So um, something to keep your eye on today in terms of value opening up for the Grizzlies. They are hurting right now. A lot of people out on that team. But that's gonna do it for injury news in the NBA. Let's transition over to two new plays for Saturday. All right, if you're new to the channel, this is what we do. Uh, I'm gonna present to you two plays that I like for today. We're gonna take those plays, we're gonna head over to props.cash and use the resources to break these down. So by the end of the video, you'll have two plays that I like, you'll know why I like them, and from there, you may tell, you may fade, you may do whatever you want. So without further delay, let's get this going and talk about a points prop for Bismack Biyombo sitting at seven, like the over on this one, was not able to find an updated profile picture of him in his Grizzlies uniform, had to roll with the good old uh, black and orange Phoenix Suns uniform for Bismack Biyombo in this photo. Not difficult at all finding an updated photo uh, of this dude in his Mavericks uniform, and that's Luka Doncic. Looking at his points and assists, sitting at 37 and a half. I like the over on this one. Let's head over to props.cash and break both of these plays down. All right, I apologize also if you're picking up any background noise. A lot of construction going on in my neighborhood this past month, actually, so real hard to nail down when I can do a video because I'm kind of fighting uh, fighting the noise in the background, but uh, doing my best to speak over it. Let's talk about Luka Doncic, 37 and a half points and assist, rolling with this line over any of his other props because this one is giving us favorable odds, but it is, it, it's also one that I believe he can hit, uh, he can hit against uh, any team. Uh, we're focusing on his two main stats which is points and assists now the other line that is getting heavy juice to the over are his rebounds sitting at eight and a half minus 132 to go over a few reasons why i didn't want to roll with just the rebounds number one he has not hit this in the last five games uh actually he's not hit this in the last six games but over his last 10 he's only hit this in three so 30 percent hit rate 
reason for that, just a lot of bodies on this team this year that can that can hit the glass. You got Grant Williams, Derek Lively. You still have Dwight Powell, Kyrie, THJ. All these dudes can contribute in the rebounding department. And so Luca's just not needing to uh, clean the glass like we've seen him do in the past. Now, what he's still doing is scoring points and dishing assists. And that's why I wanted to focus on points and assists. So again, minus 115 odds on his assist. In two games versus the Bucks last season, he did hit this with 39 and 44 points and assist. Bucks currently giving up the 24th most points in the NBA at 117.7. We talk about this a lot. Bucks defense is really hurting without Drew Holiday, which bodes well for the upside of Luka Doncic. And something that I've noticed in the last few games, Luka, you know, despite him being who he is, just has not been uh, getting those minutes for a few different reasons. You know, we, we look at his minutes and they're usually in the mid thirties, you know, 35 plus. However, last few games, that has not been the case against the Wizards blowout against the Wizards. He only played 32 minutes. The game before that against the Pelicans, bad, bad game for him. Turned the ball over a lot. Didn't shoot well from the field. 26 minutes. Game before that against the Pelicans, 28 minutes. Game before that against the Clippers, 32 minutes. He hasn't hit over 35 minutes since November 8th versus the Raptors, where he did go over points and assists with 39. So looking for a closer game. Obviously, he's not playing the Wizards today. He's playing the Milwaukee Bucks. They have superstar talent, superstar power on their on their team. Looking for a closer game, competitive game. Should keep Luka on the floor. If Luka gets his full run, I don't see how he does not go over 20, uh, 37 and a half points and assists. So really liking the upside here for him. And that's why we're taking the over on this line. And that's going to be our first play. All right, moving right on into Bismack Biombo and his point prop. We're getting it at seven on prize picks. Most books got this at seven and a half, but minus 110 odds go over seven and a half. So if this gets bumped up to seven and a half, I think you can play the over on it with confidence. Looking at his first five games as a Grizzly, he's gone over this line in four out of those five games. Eight points, nine points, 15 and 13 one game he didn't go over and that was against the lakers he goes 0 for 5 from the field didn't even get a free throw in that game but outside of that lakers game he's done pretty well as a member of the memphis grizzlies now head-to-head -head matchup versus the spurs which is the team that the grizzlies are playing today two points eight points and ten points in three games versus san antonio on the season san antonio 30th in the league in points allowed at 124 points per game giving up a lot of production to everybody. If you want to know what they've done versus centers, guys like JaVale McGee go for four, Sabonis goes for 27, Holmgren goes for nine, Adebayo goes for 24. If you're listening to this in podcast form, there is a lengthy list of names here who have gone over seven points versus the Spurs. Guys like Derek Lively, 16 points. Uh, yes, yeah, Sengun go for 25, Zubat go for 16, Nurkic go for 12, 13 for Eubank, 7 for Nurkic again, 16 for Podol, 15 for Miles Turner, 8 for Mitchell Robinson, 13 for Isaiah Hardenstein, 7 for Nasri. You get the full picture, right? Whether you're a starter or a reserve coming off the bench as a big, you should be able to hit shots versus this team the san antonio spurs so a lot going here go, a lot going on here a lot to like for bismack biombo's point prop and that is why we're taking the over seven points for bismack biombo and that is going to round out our two plays for saturday ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for today's video if you made it this far and i hope that you did consider subscribing definitely drop a like leave me a comment let me know what you like on this board as well as your thoughts on these plays a little over 60 percent of you won't like this video or uh, drop a comment at least that is what these statistics tell me so let's prove them wrong together be engaged let uh let me know what you think about the board as well as your uh thoughts on my picks 
uh, click that bell and make sure you share this video, share this channel with somebody you know. Last but not least, no matter what player props you decide to go with today, I hope they all respect the damn coin. Best of luck to you all. And until my next NBA player prop video, Chavez is out.